Is it time to buy or sell SPY ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into SPY. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, the 11th of July, 2024. And now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 24, 2024, our system has ranked SPY as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.32. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 5.10%. This translates to an average return of 0.16% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The ETF lies in the middle of a narrow and strong rising trend in the short term, indicating a further increase within the trend. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 11.51% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 9.37% and 12.67%. As for the 12-month trend, it indicates a 28.16% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 14.40% and 29.39%. This translates to a price range of $636.61 to $720 after a year. Our latest daily update for SPY includes the headline, Weaker Technical Forecast for SPY as ETF Downgraded to Buy Candidate. The SPY ETF price fell by negative 0.86% on the last day, Thursday, 11th of July, 2024, from $561.32 to $556.48. During the last trading day, the ETF fluctuated 1.17% from a day low at $555.83 to a day high of $562.33. The price has risen in eight of the last 10 days and is up by 2.01% over the past two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day by 20 million shares, but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 52 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $29.16 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of ETF was $562.33, and the lowest price was $409.21. Currently, the price is 1.04%, or $5.85, below the 52-week high of $562.33, which is also the all-time high for ETF. The following signals have been identified for SPY. There are mixed signals in the ETF today. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, July 10, 2024, and so far it has fallen negative 0.86%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence may D. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the ETF should be followed more closely. The SPY ETF holds buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $554.74 and $540.58. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal pivots, sell signal two days ago, 
Bollinger, buy signal two days ago, short-term moving average, buy signal 11 days ago, long-term moving average, buy signal 47 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 44 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal 48 days ago, the long-term moving average, buy signal 167 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 156 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for SI On the downside, the ETF finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $527.37 and $510.84. There is a natural risk involved when an ETF is testing a support level since if this is broken, the ETF then may fall to the next support level. In this case, SPY finds support just below today's level at $527.37. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $510.84 and $495.16. In general, the ETF tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity, the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the ETF moved $6.50 between high and low, or 1.17%. For the last week, the ETF has had daily average volatility of 0.686%. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for SPY. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for SPY is at $561.32. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, SPY encounters its first support level at $527.37. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $538, minus 3.32%. This ETF has low daily movements, which translates to low risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 56 days ago. Is SPY ETF a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a generally positive trend, indicate that the current level may present a buying opportunity. While there are some minor weaknesses in the technical analysis, we still consider SPY ETF to be a buy candidate, downgrading it from a strong buy since the last evaluation. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our system suggests that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, July 12th, we expect SMI to open up $1.73 and start trading at $558.21. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the exchange traded fund? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.